What's up, YouTube? Actually, we're here today. We come right back into this. Why was I gonna say this gear? I don't even play that game. Digimon, not survive. <laughs> Digimon Cyber Sleuth. And last time we had some issues with the AC, and apparently, and we're gonna ignore that quest for now, cause like, well, actually. Anyways, Mire has a quest. Case really for us to do. Let's see what we need to do here. If you're here, you must have taken up my case. I figure you naturally come, given your close ties to Digimon. Anyway, let's get straight to business, shall we? You've already not been to Kowloon and Eden before, yes? Then that'll make this conversation much quicker. Eden is filled to the brim with hackers who view Digimon as little more than mere tools to do as their bidding. Of course, said bidding is rather malicious and illegal in nature, to put it simply. That's why I sought out your help on this case. I'd like you to go after one such hacker and let's say, discipline them for these terrible hijinks. Hopefully, as one of their own, they'll learn from your example to treat Digimon much more kindly from now on. Uh, define discipline. Mm hmm. That every hacker might be so bad, you say? From the way you talk, I take it you've met some that you make that make you so optimistic. Then, well, I'll take your word for it if you really do believe that. But that doesn't change the fact that there are indeed bad eggs out there. Ones that abuse their Digimon and make them suffer terribly. I would up so I would appreciate if you would turn up the heat on such hackers, so to speak. Alright. Thank you. I knew I could trust you to join me in such an important cause. I've already found an especially malevolent hacker lurking around inside of Eden. The hacker seems to be somewhere in Kalu level 2. This one seems to be a particular nasty hacker. You'll know why. That's all I have for you right now. Thank you for taking up the case. Once you're done, come back here and report back to me. Alright guys, let's head on to Kalu level 2 and find that hacker. Somewhere around here. Anyways. I wonder if I'll actually... Man, I swear. The camera in this game really sucks. There you are. Or at least one of you, I think. This must be the hacker that Mirai mentioned. I think. Huh? You want me to stop this using my Digimon give up hacking? The hell are you going on about? This Digimon program is prime for hacking. I'm using it just as it was always intended. What good is a tool if you don't use it, dumbass? Anyone in my position would use this for their own benefit. <laughs> See you look in your eyes. If you got anything more to say about what I do, you're just gonna have to fight. Well, that won't be that hard now, will it? Oh boy, it's an enemy with two virus type Digimon again. How unique. Oh wow, that wasn't hard. I bet Aquaman can one shot with a simple attack. Wow, you're not as much different from the random Digimon that you can find out in the wild, Wiggling. Okay, okay. Get what you're saying. Shut up already. You leave me alone if I promise to treat my Digimon better from now on. Hate how to deal with some asswipes like you. Ah, uh, the way I said it, it didn't seem to sound like it. That was it? That was it? 
That was one measly hacker. What kind of case was that? That was way too easy. Jeez. Well, guys, I guess we'll already start heading back for now, because, like, nothing else really to do here. Other than train, which I don't really need to do, I think, seeing I've been one shining things like this. So let's head on. head on over. It appears everything went smoothly for you. I'm glad I called on you to help me out, help me clean up Eden. Huh? Although knowing how strong your bonds to your Digimon are, perhaps this end result was the work of fate. Heh. <laughs> <sighs> you should take that as a compliment. Regardless, thank you for all your hard work today. I expect great things from you going forward as well. Huh? Oh, you didn't think we we were done with this one hacker you took care of, did you? Well, I actually expected more than one. Sad to say, there are still numerous hackers out there who are mistreating their Digimon horribly. While you were out taking down that first hacker, you drafted up what you might call a hacker blacklist. Right now, there are about 30 such outlaw hackers in the list. With this one, you just defeated, bumping the total number down to 29. Wait, 30? 30? Like, I, do I have to do them all right right now? Oh, you feel the number is rather high. I assure you, I've arrived at this final roster after only the most careful deliberation. Rest assured, you won't have to search for all the remaining hackers by yourself. I know you're only one person, after all. On that note, I have heard, tried out the Digi Have you tried out the Digimon Digifarm yet? If you haven't, I suggest you do so post haste. The reason for that is because if you order the Digimon your Digimon to farm to investigate, they'll find out where the other hackers are for you. Once their locations have been discovered, I'll send them over to you right away as new cases to check. You can handle them the same way as today's. Don't underestimate the strength of the, your bonds with your Digimon. Big or small, each one will lend you their aid when you need it most. Please, so please, do what you can to save those poor Digimon from the blacklist to hackers. I expect great things to come of this. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that at the end? Well, seeing as that is technically done, Let's head on back, I suppose. And receive that case and go to the actual storyline, hopefully. Wait a second. Yeah, yeah, I came out of the came from TV. That's right. There we go. I see you've been working hard for me, eh? Nice job. You two appear to be developing quite the unique dynamic, if I do say so myself. So, what am I looking for now? Mirei... So, what is this? Oh, another one! Oh, so a hacker's been found already, huh? Delicious Digimeat. Okay, got it. Su? Okay, it seems Red and White wants some meat. <laughs> Then again, I'm pretty sure all Digimon want some meat. Like seriously, have you guys watched the Digimon show? What's up with them and food? <laughs> like almost every single Digimon is obsessed with food. Especially in their baby form. Gosh. <laughs> Alright. Were you surprised to get a sudden case from me? My apologies for that, however, it has to do with the blacklist of the hackers we discussed earlier. Some unusual hackers have appeared in Eden. These ones don't belong to any of the major hacker groups, but what makes them unusual is that rather than being alone, these three are always together. And with these greater numbers come greater trouble for people in Digimon alike. What they do is pretty, pretty standard hacker fare. But we can't ignore the fact that it is a group of them either. Left unchecked, they could very well grow. If we don't nip this in the bud before they form into a proper hacker team, that could well spell trouble for you tried 
if you try dealing with them later, now. That's why I sent this case in an urgent one. I need you to hurry and take care of them before they can multiply. What are they? Some so, so kind of freaking virus? Well, then again, that's what they use, so I guess that... You are what you use, apparently. They should be hanging around level 1. Okay. Given their numbers, make sure you prepare before you take them on. Regardless, best of luck they're out there. Go get them what they have coming. Go give them what they have coming. Well, that should be that hard now, then. You know, I've just realized, why did I come here? Why did I just go through the TV? <laughs> Could've just went through the TV. Kalu level 1, right? Oh, so, um... I just realized, uh, they're all kind of just right here. <laughs> this must be Hacker to me, I mentioned. Let's not give every random... random thing voices. That'll just take too much time. Let's just go in and beat their butts. Shouldn't be too hard. Wow. So there was, uh, there was like three of them, so I had to find them along the line, yada yada yada, find my other brother, I dare you, blah blah blah, he'll kick your ass, yeah yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what he said. <laughs> oh look, it's the other one, already. And let me guess, the last one's in the last area with the circle. You know, with the name of Mamoru, Mamoru, I would expect you to be much better of a person, but uh, I guess names aren't really everything, huh? Wow. <laughs> this is gonna be easy. <laughs> Burn. Pew. Wow. And I'm only like level what? 14? And rookies? Yada yada yada, I bet you can't be our last brother. He's the strongest of them all, I bet. Yada yada yada. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go in and beat his ass right now. Oh wow, found the last one in the area, yada yada. Dating scammer. Ew, he's one of those people. Then again, I'm not just sure what he does do. It's one of those Digimon. Nasty. I forgot his name actually. <laughs> what is it called again? Karamon? I think in the movie. Oh, it actually survived. Oh yeah, I guess wait, is it it's not a it's not a virus? That's surprising from the show. Cause I'm from the show I would have figured that was a virus type. But I guess not. I can't believe it, my baby back with the two brothers. My vengeance are needed. Everything going down the drain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Repent, you little bugger. You know what? I got a lot of these items. Let's get, let's get the heck out of here. Where is it? There we are. The exports. Let's get out of here. And just finish the quest by going to the Digilab. There we go. I see, so they were three siblings. Had we left them alone, I doubt they would have opted to grow beyond that then. But this is the way we killed three birds with one stone and managed to make them change their minds before it was too late. So I'm content. A man. I imagine it was hard work making it all happen, but thanks for doing it. Once again, fate remains on your side, I'd say. you find your reward back at the office. Alright. Quite a nifty reward, though. It's like, three items. Or, I don't know, things for your farm, which I need, because I don't have anything for on my farm yet. HP and SP generators. Neat. 
Now we should probably do that, but first let's actually, you know, do the story quest that we need to do. Here we go. It seems that there's a criminal calling himself the mysterious digital face has tipped the police off about his planned crimes. He told Shinjuku Matagi, a cop who loves Shinjuku, that he was going to steal top secret police information. This is, of course, a situation for the police to deal with. They put Detective Matayoshi out of the cybercrime investigation unit in charge of this. Such a traumatic incident hurt the pride of the police force. If the criminal manages to steal data and get away, the blame will fall on the Detective Matayoshi. My Tayoshi. If that is the case, it will be a hard blow for us. So I need to help Matayoshi with this investigation covertly. Do you understand what I mean by covertly? Hmm, you have a question. What do you mean by covertly? <laughs> Matayoshi is not very good at this kind of thing, so I asked him privately if he needs some help. Detective Matayoshi said, This is a matter of pride for myself and the force, and refused. I'm not going to let this go so easily, so I would like you to support him, Kavori. And is Shinjuku Matagi. I never heard of the phrase before either. It smells like a nickname of some sort. At the end of the day, it may be spelled detective, but red cop Matagi means bear hunter. Who is this mysterious digital face? Perhaps he was inspired by the multi-faced criminal Rampo Edogawa and his name from that. Back then, the mysterious man who inspired terror and madness in children, Kogoro Akechi, was, <laughs> was his name. Wait. Goro Akechi? Nani? <laughs> was his name. His rival was a group of young detectives. Hmm. Wait a second. Goro Akechi? His rival was a group of young detectives? I feel like Persona 5. Or Persona 5 is based off whatever the story is about. But um. Kogoro Akechi and his rival group of young detectives. Totally not the Phantom Thieves. You don't know about it because it was a bit before your time. Actually, even people in my generation are too young to know about it. So it's actually a story. So the Phantom Thieves were based off of this? Huh. So please, get your work quickly as possible. Huh? You want to know what you should do? This is about a stolen info, info about from the police, so try going and asking groups of thugs on the street for information. I'll try to find out what is said in that tip-off. You go to Kowloon and ask around. Oh. Well, back into Kowloon. <laughs> Was this the area I wanted to go to? Oh, level two. <laughs> Not here. Whoops. That's better. Onwards. You! Don't talk to me all buddy buddy. You, you got a question? What is this mysterious digital face? Mysterious digital face. I've heard lots of rumors. Pre-reporting crimes to the cops are pretty bold. Seems like they kind of know what about hackers. I've never seen any hackers with their guts. Okay, he doesn't really do know much. Let's go around and see if we can find anyone else. Quickly. So, you want to join my team? I'll definitely welcome a cutie with, like you with open arms. Huh? I don't know anything about that. More important, hurry up and join Zaxxon. Promise I'll take real good care of you. Oh my goodness, this is creepy. Like, do all Zaxxon girls act like that? Ugh. Looking for someone today. Finally get found. 
<laughs> Why hide it? I have the great mysterious digital face. <laughs> Just joking. I don't even know what this digital face is. Seriously, I, I hope that they're like saying lol by like text and this is all texting cause oh boy. Boring. Boring. I'm so over eating lately. Can you tell me anything interesting? <laughs> yeah, I heard some rumors though. I don't know much about it. If you, something interesting actually go on, make sure you tell me. What? Looks like you got something to say. <laughs> yeah, of course I know. Yeah, the mysterious digital face is a hot topic around here at the moment. The cops were asking me that same kind of question earlier. Hmm? Wait, are you asking around about him? Well, I'm not saying nothing to an old cop. Cops and hackers are enemies. This incident must be particularly embarrassing for our police. A criminal admitted to the crime before committed it. I know a hacker waits cops more than anyone. Maybe this guy is the mysterious digital face. Huh? You want to know where this hacker is? He hangs around in Shinjuku a lot. He's a fiery, moody, shady kind of guy. Cop or not, you're gonna want to question it. Well, now he need a police hitting hacker. A police, a cop, hitting hacker is in Shinjuku. Huh. I just got info on tip off warning. It brought me here to Shinjuku too. One way or another, looks like our criminals in Shinjuku. Go find him ASAP. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're that. Kyoto office from your Kyoto office, right? Hey, what's with the old crap look on your face? What are you doing here? Huh? You want to know what I'm doing? I'm on the trail of mysterious digital face. I've come to Eden to ask around around about him. Huh? You say you think the hacker who hates cops is in Shinjuku? A hacker who hates cops, you say. Well, how do you know that? Hmm. <laughs> okay, well thanks for the info. If Kyoko is getting you to do something, I want to know what it is. It is a matter of police pride. It's mine to take out. Hmm. Anyways, look for the hacker who hits you. Cop in Shinjuku. Most people, most people really hate the Jakes of the types of doing bad stuff any anyway, themselves. I could talk to everyone on along the way back, but does it really matter? I don't know, because I already know I need to go to Shinjuku. Everything's so boring. Please tell me you got something interesting to say. <laughs> Hackers are like dime a dozen. Hackers and cops go together like oil and water, cats and dogs, angel demon stuff. I, I guess I wouldn't say I hate them. I really go after someone like to go after someone like that, you have to be full of malice. You a pig or something? No. Jeez, don't scare me like that. <laughs> I'm not actually a weirdo. I just play one on the internet. Don't take it serious. I oh, know, weirdo says lol for in real life. In, in person. Technically, it's not in person, but uh. Uh. So you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After the hate cops, hmm. I'm pretty sure there are plenty, but at least in my crew, nobody feels strong enough to actually call it hatred. There's plenty who don't like him though. Don't ring a bell. Ask someone else. Looks like you arrived in Shinjuku. Huh? You meant my Toyoshi while you were asking around in Kowloon? 
I see. You told them about the information on Jinchuku. If, Mata if Detective Matashi solves the case by himself with that information, that would be great. Just to be sure, please continue your investigation, Shinjuku. Huh. What is this? What's the matter? You got something to ask me? Hmm, a hacker that despises the police. Far too many patronage. Personages come to mind, I'm afraid. Right now, do hackers and police seem friendly to each other? Of course, there are those who get along well, and I do wish I had their luck. <laughs> hmm. Hey, how are you doing? Something I can help you with? A hacker who hates cops. I saw this guy. He didn't look like a hacker, but he really hated cops. He was whispering something hateful about cops by the access point to the station courtyard. But I don't really think he hates the police. I mean, come on. We are so cool. <laughs> Someday, I'm definitely gonna... <clears throat> hmm? So... By the whatchamacallit thing. I have already forgotten the name of what those things are called. Man, um, uh, so guys. Well, it's WAP, but, uh, remember to check your roads. Check before you cross the street. Yeah, for some reason, I'm pretty sure the lights ain't changing. But there is a shiny thing over here. Man, I, uh, hate to live here. It would seem like the lights don't change. <laughs> oh, a man. Who are you? What is it? You got something you want to ask? What the? Who are you? You think you're so important, eh, you asking around? You're a cop, right? You're as high and behind the power the state gives you. Tyranny. Cruelty. This is a violation of my human rights. Ugh. Looks like he's on the run. He went to an access point to eat. Gotta get after him. Yeet. What the heck is this? Don't, don't tell me this is just another man being controlled by a Digimon. I hate the police. I hate them. I hate them! Questioning bicycle registration numbers. I don't give time for that. I need to go home. My favorite anime show is about to start. Am I really that suspicious looking? Am I really that shady? This police are my enemy. The police are my enemy. So, you, you're the crop's crony. So you're the little lap dog. <laughs> Digimon controlling humans. It makes me think of season two where my Usman was like using that vampire looking dude as like a human skin. <laughs> oh, it's a lot tougher than I thought. Well, I guess I'm letting you on fire then. <laughs> ha! That wasn't so hard. <laughs> Vegetables. It's weak to fire. Too bad it doesn't look like it's gonna be any delicious even after roasting it. Whoa. Where am I? Huh? Possessed by a Digimon? I see. I can't remember. Huh? Mysterious digital face. He stole the seed. He stole the secret police data? What are you talking about? First off, I'm not a hacker. I admit I hate the police, but... I was born with a strange, suspicious vibe, so everyone always mistrusts me and treats me like their enemy. Anyways, I don't know anything about this mysterious digital face. Huh. 
Seems like we're back to almost zero. Did you catch criminal? Okay, I'll bring the criminal straight up to the station. And don't let the detective Matoyoshi see you. Huh? He wasn't a criminal, just shady? I see, that's a pity. There's nothing to be done for it. We need to do investigation again. Please come back here. Hey you, what are you doing here? Ha! <laughs> Surprised? Hmm. Well, you want to know who this is? It's an infam infamous, mysterious digital face. I just arrested him. Huh? Huh? How did I know? This guy isn't a real policeman. He's just a normal guy in a costume. Just what you expect from Detective Matayoshi. You've truly earned the tile. The tile. Tile. Wait. You've truly earned the tile of the Shinjuku Mata. Okay. Shouldn't that be tech? Shouldn't that be title? Shouldn't that be you've earned the title of Shinjuku Matagi? What's tile? <gasps> right from the start, I never thought the criminal who did this hated the police. Shinjuku Matagi. That's my nickname over 10 years ago. The person who knew this must have really liked the police. No, he'd be a totally complete fanatic. When I was going around to Juku asking about this and ran into him, he came to me instinctively. When I looked into him, I found out he was a real cop. He's a hacker who aspired to be a member of a cybercrime squad of the police, but kept failing the entrance exam. He broke under the pressure and admitted when I cross-examined him. Well, Japanese police truly excellent to be able to find me out so easily. <laughs> now, I'll get to spend every day with these policemen. Well, I guess that's not so bad. <laughs> well, it feels like catching this guy is its own reward, but well, I suppose that's enough. I suppose I should thank you for your help. I was only able to catch him because you gave me important clues. You helped me save face. I thank you for that. Please pass my regards to Kyoko and tell her I'm sorry for worrying her. Right? So the mysterious digital face was safely brought to justice. You managed to persevere the honor of Preserve the honor of police and force Detective Matayoshi. Of the police force and Detective, uh, Detective Matayoshi. Good job. I suppose we should reconsider our low opinion of Detective Matayoshi now. We tried to support him covertly at first, but we weren't able to find a criminal by ourselves. He is an elite detective. That gut instinct of his. That's one of his greatest gifts you can have. Still. The Shinjuku Matagi. Matagi means bear hunter. A person who can use the footprints and smell of a bear to track it down and move in for the kill. Of course, it's perfect name for Detective Matayoshi. Oh boy. Just one thing and he freaking found him before he could figure it out. I think the real multi-faced criminal was some sort of fan of the police. And P.I.s. However that is. He's probably the first ever hot, cold personality type. Huh. Oh, right, right, right. So what I need to do is... This. <laughs> the back entrance is so cold. It's a little better here at least. Huh. So I already saw where that other guy is. <sighs> oh. Why is it freezing here? Did the AC break or something? Well. What the heck is this? The heck? What's going on? Her voice cut out. 
me again. I got a new case for you. Why don't you drop on by so we can talk? Seems to have stopped. How odd. Why in the world is it so cold inside Broadway? Is something wrong with the AC? If you're not doing anything, go find out what's going on. It's probably the work of some sort of Digimon again. At this point, this is just a Mega Man. What is it? Freeze Man? Do I have to jack in? Mega Man, jack in. Alright guys, after all that long looking around, I just realized that um, after talking to all the people, I need to first accept the case. <laughs> Whoops. Now, what I gather, the air conditioning inside the Nakano Broadway is on the fritz. It just keeps pumping in cold air constantly and no one can switch the heating on. Thing is, no one can find anything wrong with, that, wrong with it and the businesses are all lost about what to do. That's where we come in. People aren't getting much work done, so I told them to leave to us. If we can get to the bottom of this mess, I'm sure they'll just love us forever for it. What the heck? Huh? You keep getting transmissions from someone? Hmm, well isn't she a cutie? The white noise in this is really bad. I can't make out what she's saying. Where is this coming? Damn, cut out. What? You're saying the same transmission came in where it was cold? Hmm, we might be closing in on the cause. If so, our next step is to resolve this thing's plain and simple. I'm going to see if we can figure out the signal origin. You ask ra around about the air conditioning. Well, I technically did. Unless they need to talk about it again. So... I don't think so. Let's head to... Where we need to go. There you are. Huh? You want to know about the, how the AC broke? Beats me. I have no idea. That's odd. Now, we don't have a central unit anymore. So how could everyone's AC go out? Huh. You don't know about the central unit? Back when this place first opened, there was a big underground unit that controlled the AC for the whole building. Sure, it feels like the old central unit's going out. The way it worked was every store circulated cold air up to these stores with fans. Why was there a central unit underground at all? Well, that was to refrigerate a certain something. <laughs> what do you think it was? It was Japan's oldest vacuum tube computer. Can you believe it? The room that computer housed was right in the here in Nakano. Sad to say, I had no idea what happened to it. There's nothing left of it anymore. And even if it were there, there are no records left. No one remembers where it was either. The room itself might as well be an urban legend. Hmm. I can tell you one thing. It's really odd. Although, it's done wonders for coffee sales today. Wait, how does that relate to coffee? I figured out where the signal came from. So get back to the office when you can, alright? Well, that was fast. <laughs> Nice work with the investigation. Now, what have you got to report? Hmm. This is the first I've heard of a computer room. But with all that info, it's starting to click for me now. Like I mentioned before, I figured out who the girl in the transmission is. Her name is Fuyume Yuki. She was a breakout idol from a few decades back. What we've been seeing, the avatar on screen, it's her when she was in her prime as an idol. Somebody is therefore using a terminal inside Nakano Broadway and broadcasting her likeness. And the signal seems to be coming from the fourth floor. Looking at the map, 
It's right inside the wall at K Cafe. Wait, what? The whole thing has played out like a horror story, hasn't it? A long lost idol relaying her message from inside the wall. But with your report, it's all coming together now. We've uncovered uncovered a piece of Nagano Broadway history that's not even the owner of the K Cafe has to go to historian as the go to historian would claim to know. But enough talk, it's time to head back to K Cafe. I'll be coming along for this one too. What the Yo, I got yo, I got a message from a girl and when I answered it, it got cold all of a sudden. It's the snow woman. She's cursed us! She cursed us all! It has to be her! I can hardly believe it. It's definitely been chilly, chilly in here. It's got a bad feeling about this. Maybe I just go home. Huh. Snow Woman. The M.O. sure fits the fairy folk tale, though. Even the idol's name, Fuyumeyuki, means Winter Snow Woman. Snow Woman herself shows up in a lot of stories from regions with cold climates. Definitely the first time she's taken a form as an old 80s idol. But it's pretty fitting for Nakano Broadway, all things considered. <laughs> Still, if we don't act quickly, she's going to damage this place's reputation, so let's get a move on already. Well, that is odd. <laughs> this is it. The transmission should be coming from the other side from here. Yet there's no door, and there's no signs, signs of the wall being tampered with. What's going on here? What the heck? It's her again. What is this? Huh, <laughs> another transmission. That just confirms we're getting in, we're in the right spot then. I don't, I don't like the looks of this. It's like she noticed us trying to meddle with her, and now it's getting even colder. You're probably less affected by your tricks thanks to your unique body. Wait, is it really that cold? Huh. Oh, did you find something? So I see. So there's an entry space point into cyberspace inside that wall. Don't worry about me. Go on in ahead and get in there. Looks like I gotta do some more sleuthing. What is this? Alright then. Wow, right before I got to the thing. Alright, fine. Smack, I'm dead. That's easy. In words, we go. What is this? Alright. Weird. Uh, it's one of those things. Hey, it's a Sunomon and a Koromon. Huh. I could get more. <laughs> of the a bunch I have already in my inventory. Oh, it's a Karamon. They're in here. You know, I might as well pick one up. Like, I might want a Diaboromon. I wonder if it, there's a Pokemon. Not Pokemon. Uh, what is it called again? The one that was in the Return of Diaboromon movie thing. That spider dragon thingy. You know what? For, for that. Wow, so great thing that this is literally right there. <laughs> Anyways, we have a uh, another Koromon and Sunomon, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I just gotta move them. Where to put them though? 
Like, this is my place full of all, all these other things. Huh. That's, uh... You know what? I have enough of those in there. That'll be fine. I wish the farm island was bigger, though. And yeah. Great thing that's, like, literally right there. <laughs> There you are. You came. Thank you. Wait, what? Please help me. Wait, what? It's a fluffy purple. Wait, why is it getting cold in here? Cooler. It's not cold enough. Not until everyone's frozen. Oh, well, there it is. Fire should work, right? Then again, I guess maybe not. It's a vaccine, so Data's aren't going to do much. And he's also fire. Apparently, those are water type. Makes no sense, but whatever. So if it's vaccine, that'll do. And Agumon's fire, which is weak against his water, apparently. So I'd best swap these two out anyway. Excellent. I should try to put it in sleep, maybe. Who knows how tanky it could be. Ha! Huh. See. I wonder. Whatever. Oh, it's not tanky at all. Huh. Well, then you're just gonna die. <laughs> that was too easy. What's that 20 on his thing for? Is it like a 20th anniversary Digimon? I'm not really sure. I haven't been keeping up with Digimon lately, and I, I have actually never seen this Digimon before. It looks pretty cool though. Hey. He was so cold. Thank you for taking care of him. That was one nasty glitch. You saved the day, really. You must have come over when you heard my voice, right? That your voice? You didn't? You are a cyber sleuth working on a case? I don't really get it. But whatever. All's well that ends well. Fishy much clamping, she really did cause so much trouble. Huh? Who I am? Well, uh, to be honest, I don't really know myself. I've been stuck inside this wall the whole time, you see. What the heck? <laughs> hey, it finally stopped blowing cold air in here. Great job, you did so much. You must be tired. It'd be a real s sad state on affairs if you'd saw a master freeze to death in here. In Tokyo, of all places. Hmm? You found a Digimon cat with amnesia? Well, you saw one mystery only in some to another, it seems. Come back here and we'll look into it. Weird, a Digimon can get- okay. An amne- amne- amnesiac- whatever. <laughs> Digimon, huh? Every time I think I've seen everything, I get proven wrong yet again. I take it those transmission from y Fumuye, Fuyumi Yuki, who you're doing then. Yep, I wasn't able to move around once pretty much started going crazy, so I had to call for help some way, and I sent out those messages. Well, I did come with a vacuum tube computer inside a wall. Wait, what? Then. That means you're the vacuum tube computer was really there behind the wall the whole time. I've been sleeping inside your computer for a really long time. I only woke up just recently. And when I did, I had no idea who I was or what I was doing on inside the wall. So I just got to go and see what I could learn. That was when I stumbled upon the inchon 
connection. What? Intranet connection using the vacuum tube computer? Isn't that supposed to be internet connection? What's wrong with this game and typos? The vacuum tube computer is to the rest of the building. No, they really do mean intranet. What the heck is the intranet? You must mean the networking lines that only operate inside Nakano Broadway. Yeah. So I was just playing around. That was when Frigimon finally appealed. It was originally a Digimon that was created as a result of a glitch in the air conditioning system. But you managed to use the intranet to sneak into the vacuum tube to show I was leaving it. I see. It all makes sense now. That must have been why nobody could find anything wrong with the system when they checked it. Fajimon just went completely insane and went listen to me. Oh. Fajimon just went completely insane and went listen to me. Eventually, I couldn't even move with all the kinds of call. It was terrible. How, how awful. I had no idea. It's hard to believe such an old computer was still even operational to begin with, too. But its existence is probably a remnant of the centralized AC system the K Feast, K, K, K Cafe owned and mentioned before. The wiring must have been hooked up pretty poorly for Fujimon to be able to wreak ha such havoc then. And therein lies the root of how all this matters should happen. And I imagine even our conversation right now must be going through the intranet as well. By the way, is there a reason why you chose to appear as an idol in those transmissions? Why, she was just cute, I guess. Hmm. It's simple. I just saw someone cute like her. I would make someone want to come in and help me. I picked Fumi Yuki, but she picked her guys. Well, she was amazing when she was really popular. She could sing, she could dance, and her works. Fumi Yuki has everything you could want in an idol. Oh yeah! There was also a world affair fair around the time her career was really starting to wake up. There was just one line for Moonwalks. Wait, why do you want to remember me? I don't even remember my own wing. I think I got what's going on here. It looks like we've uncovered a decades old time capsule. Time capsule? Wait, yeah! Your memories aren't exactly raw bits of information. There's more than that. They have a certain humanity to them, let's say. I bet you're somebody's old memories. Stashed away along with the vacuum tube computer you've been living in. That's what the kind time capsules are for. Wait for you? But memories are not. That doesn't make you any less empathetic of a creature to encounter. Either way, this case is wrapped up now. We'll look into up. We will look into what's up with the cat did you want later. Truly, there's no other place quite like Nagano. Aha! That was interesting. <laughs> Farm plugin. All right. Still, you have a real knack for getting involved in a lot of stuff. So thanks for always keeping it interesting around here. Ooh, what is this? Oh, just the next chapter. <laughs> huh. Yo, you call for me, don't get what is it? Alright now. Is it about Gawuman and Agumon? Hmm. 
プロへの頼み事となればそれすなわち依頼に他ならないさらに言えば私の助手でもある私の助手への依頼は詰まるところ私への依頼お分かりいただけたかなおいや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、どや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、はや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、Pretty much the same Digimon. But then again, I guess an Agumon and Gabumon don't really appear in Kaloon normally. さて、彼女のご指名は君だ。この件は君に任せようと思うが、どうする本当助けてくれるやったうん。仕事を受け負ったからには、最後まできっちりやり通してくれたまえ。うちの評判にも影響するかもしれない。その点。彼女はいい広告塔になってくれそうだじゃあじゃあじゃあまずはこの前ログアウトした場所に行きたいんだけど If I think about when we locked out Agumai and Gagumai were facing that thing as well I wonder if they're even safe still Maybe they ran Hopefully they ran タズネビトならぬタズネデジモンか。電脳探偵にふさわしい依頼内容じゃないか。I guess that's all in the job description. <笑>よろしい。では早速、調査を開始したまえ。ん私がいつもより楽しそうだってそう見えるなら、否定はしない。だが、事実を告げるならば。デジモンを探してくれなどという突飛な依頼に少々戸惑っているのだよ。愛着を抱くことに関して、人はとことん無頓着なのだな。リアルだろうがデジタルだろうがお構いなしだ。実に面白いじゃないか。え<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>、yeah, A love mom's kind to eat you. Oh boy. Wait, there's another message. Oh, I can't go back. Oh well. What is this? On fire? h e l l are you new crew at Kumi's detective agency? I'm the owner of a Chinese restaurant. The past few days, the AC in the Broadway building seems to have gone out. Can you feel it? It's too hot. Ain't that weird? The air conditioning is on, but it's still so hot. The thing is, the problem throughout the whole facility. The other restaurant workers say they won't work now. It's a real bind here.、I'm、losing customers over this. More and more people are ranting and raving about the heat. My daughter is at the rebellious age. Won't talk to me when it comes to home. Wait. Won't talk to me, comes home late. And then there's that stupid boyfriend of hers. Okay, why is it, what does this have to do with the case? Sort of went off topic there. Let's get back to the issue at hand. So, recently, a repair guy came to take a look. But he said the strangest thing that there are no problems at all with the AC. So, when I went to try to take it, talk it over to Kyoko, she said the new detective can figure it out. Do you think he can figure it out? 
Yeah, I've already kind of dealt with this kind of thing, but it was cold last time. It shouldn't be too hard this time. Oh, that time it suddenly got cold in the building. That was you? Well, I guess I can rest easy now. Anyways, think you could take a quick look at the AC? Much obliged. Oh, that reminds me. Something can hear... Sometimes you can hear a strange noise coming from somewhere from the K Cafe on the fourth floor. Try nothing. Oh, it's another thing on the fourth floor. How weird. Anyways, uh, I suppose we're going back to the K Cafe. But, uh, I wanted to say if you're getting too hot, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> oh well. Getting in. Looks like this time we're gonna have to face the fiery Digimon. Now, I already got the Digimon out. What's over here? There's nothing even over here, the heck? There we go. So that's what this was. Alright, we should be able to find it. Or not? What? That's confusing. So, where are we going? Nothing's over there, so I guess I'm continuing this way. What's a back attack? Oh, I guess they attack first, but... Okay, what? Okay, so I'm just confused. Like, who attacks first in the game? I thought it was based off speed, but what the heck is back attack? I'm pretty sure my Digimon are faster. Huh. Should probably reorganize back to uh, the base team. There we go. I'm gonna need another, uh, what is it? Not rookie. Virus, probably. I know Gilliamon's probably not gonna be a virus for very long. <laughs> or maybe it will be, I'm not too sure. I just know that when it becomes a Gallimon, it's definitely not gonna be a virus. Well, there it is. Hey, you. Hey, you over there. What you looking at? Huh? What I've been doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm thinking of having it do what? I'm thinking of having it with Marimon. Did you know? The guy called me Marimon at Mark II? <sighs> Can't you tell by looking, huh? I shouldn't have to explain. Damn, you're really starting to piss me off again. Come to think of it, there's a human doing here. What's it doing? A human doing here. I see. You've come to bother me, right? You're one of Marimon's cronies, aren't you? Ah, a jack up the heat. I'll set this whole place on fire! Well, you try that. Oh, it's buffing us up, and it's a virus type, so I should put it's a virus type. Hmm. Well, I should be fine for now. It's not that bad. That is the exact same voice. The heck. Out for a vaccine! Huh? Suck it! Huh? 
I would say burn, but you're already kind of on fire. I'm surprised that fire is even working. <laughs> that was easy. Damn it, I'll remember this. Wag that tiny tail of yours. Wag wag. Would you mind that cause this doesn't seem to be around? I guess I'll tell the client. Huh. Ah, it's you. Looks like the AC is fixed. Were you the one who fixed it? Huh? There was a Digimon in the AC? I don't really understand, but thanks. You really helped. Huh? Isn't it a little cold around here? That's right, the AC isn't working properly. It's been heating up, so it's been turning up the heat thing down everywhere in the building. So the AC was fixed and suddenly it got cold. I freaked out and switched to original settings. It's okay, I'll be back to normal soon. I'll tell the other stores that the air conditioner is fixed. Thanks so much, I'll send a payment to the office. How odd that everything's going on, which is currently going on here. That's so weird. Oh, well, let's collect my prize. <laughs> there we go. Huh, great work. What do you say I pour you a cup of coffee for your trouble? Ah, no. Away. <laughs> Anyways, guys. For now... We're gonna head to Kalu level 2. We're going to see and find, check out if Gaumon and Agumon are still around. For now guys, thank you for watching. Oh, there's no case. What is this? So I guess this technically isn't the case. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And see ya.